<laughs> let me let me not. I don't want to go there. I want to speak positive. Thank That's you. right. That's Thank why you. I'm here. <laughs> and we back. Baltimore Flavor Radio. RadioOnFire.com. Call. Call. Not net. We had an interesting uh, argument <laughs> behind the scenes. Y'all wouldn't see it. Unless We're not she even was arguing about that anymore. That, that's on live. Point. Shout out to the queen. That, uh, Nicki, the that queen? Nicki Minaj. That chick ain't no queen. She, she the queen of smashing the team. She, yeah, wow. she, she the queen Even of getting, like, getting ghost She the queen. Everybody didn't go through Terra Squad. That's why they terrorize. She didn't go through Terra Squad. <laughs> she the queen, she no, the queen of cash mad. money. He's just mad. He's a Nicky fan. She, she fucked fun. She the queen of cash Bingo. money. Bingo. She fucked fun and that was disgusting. Moving on. See, Moving on. Moving on. Because Moving I on. to stop cursing. Moving on. And use a profanity. Moving on. Yeah, it is. The whole thing. You're stupid. No, no. Nicky got the whole team and the women. We're back the on. The men and the women. Yes, we're back mm -hmm. on Baltimore Flavor. We're not turning this into a, a, a Nicki Minaj. <laughs> well, Nicki Mirage. We're not turning this into a Nicki Mirage. Uh, Nicki Mirage? Yes. Nicki Minaj. No, Mirage. Yeah. I said it right. You know what a Mirage is? Diamond. You know what a yes. Minaj is? Yeah, she probably has several. That's why she got the contract. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, um, okay. we have Miss Pebbles finally in the building with us. Welcome to Baltimore Hello. Flavor Radio. Hello. Welcome. How's everything going? It's going. It, it's good now. We're glad, we glad you made it here safely. She we're has a she has a Mary J. Blige shades mm -hmm. on. No, I put on. Y'all was throwing a lot of shades. She's got that Nicki mask. Oh my gosh! I put my glasses on. She has her glasses on. So, um, where do you want to start? Women love sports, or we can start there. It doesn't matter. It's not so coming back. It's gonna come back. I had to take a. a Mental you know, health. sometimes you have to fall back from things mm -hmm. yes, in order yes. to get them together. So I've been paying attention to other people's shows. That's one. Two, I took the time to look at every show that I ever did, which, matter of fact, I started here at Radio on Fire. Oh, um, we won't hold that. I have, I, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I have to uh, give this credit because, you know, it just needs to be done. I don't know what me and Diamond K were doing or talking about. But he did mm -hmm. suggest that I do the, the sports radio show. So it was originally Sports Talk with Pebbles. I know what it was. So what was it? Where were we? What is going on here? He's see, here's the thing. See, here's the thing. I know that was for you. See, here's the thing. I got to see what you're about to say. See, here's the thing. All right, thing. so. <laughs> of course. You know his favorite word. Here's the thing. All right. So we were driving somewhere. And you were arguing what you were driving. <laughs> and so you were oh, arguing with me, and I said, with all this mouth you have, you need to do a show. We were fussing about sports. Correct. Because it's like, I don't like to watch sports with her because it's like, you'll say one little thing, and then she'll yes. debate that point. You know what I mean? It's just I like, um, you'll be like, I don't know. I'm just trying to think. The Cavaliers uniforms are white. And Not this. even that. Like that's too. That's too big. Like you'll say, "Dang, I, um, I don't even. I don't know why they got that bullshit ass stadium. There ain't no stadium. It's a dome. You know what I'm saying? It's like, whoa, what? Okay, whatever. You know what I mean? It's just like, no, you do it. Like it's just too amped up. Like she gets too amped up about sports, right? That's, yeah. but that means that's where it came from. That means you're passionate about sports. Mm -hmm. I am very passionate. That okay. whole story was a lie. What's your favorite? Maybe maybe it's foggy because he's over forty. What's your what's your, oh, oh, what's your favorite? Sport? <laughs> <laughs> what's your uh, Diamond? What's your, you need your glasses. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> what's, your, what's your favorite sport? Football. 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 Okay. But it, I mean, it's across football, basketball. Across. It's, it's a it's like across. 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 See, he's way too much, y'all. And he don't. He don't even really watch sports, so I'm not uh -oh. gonna be technical, okay? Right. So, and we and we watched a lot of sports together. So for him to say he didn't like watching sense. sports, that makes no sense. yeah, you don't like it. Wrestling's like, a sport. Well, I don't like boxing's a sport. Don't have mercy. UFC's a sport. Light skinned people. <laughs> anyway, that's for y'all. Yeah, light skin is a sport. You <laughs> said light skinned people. Oh my God. Yeah, Wait a minute, bring it back. Because I, I want to make sure I get that out about the, you know, me having to take my break. And I looked at my shows, and mm -hmm. on my shows, I used a lot of profanity. Mm -hmm. I took a lot of shots of Patron. Mm -hmm. My 12 year old is now on social media. I allow that. So I'm connected to her everywhere that she is. I don't care if it's Snapchat, Instagram. 
but I don't want her to see that image of me. So I needed to bring it back. So basically so you're, you're refurbishing and are you gonna like just come back with the whole like different That's format or is it still gonna be? It's gonna be a different you format. Okay. You gonna stick to sports though, right? Well, the idea that I have, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I came with a couple of other ladies, it's gonna be two shows. I'm gonna still do my Women Love Sports too, but okay. we're also okay. doing Survivors with a Purpose. So that's cool. I yeah. Like that. You want to talk a little bit about that? Since uh, that was such course. a smooth segue. <laughs> yes, of course. So basically, Survivors with a Purpose is basically a surviving, whether it's a woman or a man. Because I notice now, all organizations that come out, it's sisters or you no, know, mm -hmm. everybody is surviving something because everybody is going through something or have went through something. So just recently my niece had made a post and it made me like have to reach out to her because she's a teenage mother mm. and she was stressing because she felt like nobody supported her mm. and she's getting ready to graduate. So I'm like, listen, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do after high school. Calm down, calm down. Yeah, I was do. a teenage mother. I had two children while I was in high school. I graduated high school. Congratulations. Thank you. I graduated college. You can do it. And I can and I put her in touch with Shay Sharp. Shay Sharp went to Paquin with me. So it is people who were teenage mothers that made it. So I want to be able to let people see those type of things before they say, Well, that's, I just I can't make it. I like, I like that. that. You know. Because so, for good. some reason this seems like good people job. well, it's like a stigma when you have yeah, make that mistake and you have, you know, you get pregnant as a teenager and you're still in school, it's like people just put this stigma on you, like your whole world is supposed right. to be in, like you're not supposed to be able to, you know, raise your child and you're not supposed to be able to do the things that you need to do to better your life. That's so, true, but they go even further. They say that your child right. will be a Right, then parent. your child, right. But might I add, I have three children that has graduated from high school, one graduated from college already, none of them have Excuse children. Me, I had to clap that up. <laughs> Thank you. None of them have children, so that that was false as well. Okay. I mean, it's not the same for everybody, but I got all three of mine through high school, at least with no children. So you learn from your situation and you taught them that's the right, right way and they followed us. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's, that's, and um, you said uh, it's gonna, you're going to include men also. Yeah, because, I mean, as, men struggle as well. Yeah. Like my brother, parents. single father, so. Wow. Yes, his wife passed away, okay. so, I mean, Men have the same struggles. Um, it was also a situation with my son and his girlfriend. Now, see how that sounds, domestic violence. Mm -hmm. But somebody would think he was beating on her. But no, she thought she was going to beat on him. But he has this crazy mother. <laughs> <laughs> so he ended up pressing charges. She got arrested, and she had to do some classes at the House of Ruth. So men get abused, too. Yeah. I was you know, say that so. men do get abused too. And he was Mentally crying about and physically. it. physically. Right. Mm -hmm. Mentally and physically. She was digging her fingernails in his arms and everything. He just was like, no, no, don't go over there, man. Sorry. Once I know, I'm, I'm going. I so. sent V. No, the, what I see from you, though, is that you reflect. I think a lot of women don't. You take the time, you chill out, you reflect. Mm -hmm. I think that's why you are successful and will always be. So congratulations again. Anything I can do for you, let me know. I sure you know, will. The, the she has great flavor. character. So I'm she, glad yeah. that you guys she, said that. Thank yeah. you. I already know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, anything you can do. Yes. Yeah, definitely. So women have sports, too, and survivors with a purpose have decided to give the homeless um, care packages, Good. and we're feeding them Saturday, on May the twelfth. Who? Saturday, May the twelfth. Who? Saturday, May the twelfth. She said who? The twentieth. <laughs> the twentieth. I'm sorry. May the twentieth. Yeah, I was saying who because he, he got messing it. up. He like he was the head of the so game. So it's coming soon. That's coming <laughs> soon. Coming May the twentieth. So we're accepting donations until May seventeenth. How do we donate and where do we donate? So we have. Contact information, and I figured, you know, bring him the radio on fire. I'm coming on radio on fire, so I'll just look over to Diamond K. You know, since he don't like to watch sports with me, and ask him, can people bring? <laughs> oh, <I laughs> can people joking. bring donations here? I was joking. You know, and I'm gonna also ask can radio on fire make a donation. You know, why not ask everybody? You know, it's, it's for a good cause. So our goal was initially just to feed a hundred people, but Miss Sabrina from. We Sisters know. and Strength, yes. Yes. You know her sure. goal so is 100, so yeah. I'm going to match that 100. So, so 200. Exactly. 
We did 200 Shout out to last Sabrina. year, right? Easy. We did 200. Easy. I have a radio show. We did 200 easy. last year. It's easy. Especially yeah. with good donations. You'd be good. I'm just not coming to help pack, make sandwiches. This yes, not you, a yes, you are. No, he don't have to. It's okay. We have <laughs> we have same dance group. Said, okay, no, children. Fine. Okay. We have them coming along with Lady Shutdown basketball team. Which is the team that my daughter plays for. Yeah. But we have those kids coming so they can earn some community service hours. I think I might come and, back with and, you. And <laughs> okay. sp speaking of your daughter's team, I want you to talk a little bit about this because you mentioned something earlier today about them needing coaches. Definitely. Yeah. It's something about, I, I know a lot of this has been going on in the news with men messing with the girls. It seems like the men don't want to coach for that reason. At least the ones that I've talked to and I've reached out to. So they don't want to say the wrong thing, do the wrong, because they girls. I, I don't understand that at all. But right now we just have two coaches, one coach and one assistant coach, and they have fourth grade to eighth grade. Pebbles, you can really be a coach. So, no, no. <laughs> I'm team mom. I can't do that. Yeah, okay. Well, I do the fundraisers. The fundraisers. Why did you take my daughter off? Like, hold up. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's Jesus. probably why they don't want a coach. Why did you dribble? You trying to say, what? You heard him. Because you, you screaming on him. Who? The men. What men? They don't want coach because you you yeah, I don't on. even know them. I make a post and I tag everybody I can tag. You make yeah. a post and then you say, why did you take my daughter and put her on the bench? And they was like, man, man, I don't want a coach anymore. You do look like you would oh be the crazy gosh. mother. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely they not. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely not. Well, Pebbles, yeah. I would All my be. kids have been involved in sports and I've been there. Like, mm -hmm. I've, it don't matter what they do. I've been team mom. Because no other parents is sad. That even with the basketball team, only five parents show up. Ooh, say it again. And those are for the sixth graders, because my daughter's in the sixth grade. And this is the AAU team, so the I'm not trying don't to show up. No, no. The one, the one thing that I noticed when my son used to play football, um, rec league, was that a lot of parents used that two hours of practice every day during the week. <laughs> as babysitter time like i can just drop my child off and, and i'll pick them up and i'll pick them up and, oh but wait the some of them don't running, like so, i told yes, the coach and then some of them as, don't even as the, the team mom exactly. i do say a lot of things in straight and blunt now i get why you like blunt. look no i'm team Listen, mom i get it don't obligate yourself to bring these people kids to practice right. don't obligate yourself right. to take them home because you're never going to see them exactly. and what we never see them exactly. so now we have a fundraiser coming up Krispy Kreme. Mm -hmm. if you don't sell donuts then straight out your pocket, $75. Because you at least have to sell 10 dozen. So if you're not going to sell the donuts, what you doing? I was saying if I had the, the tournament that we were trying to go to is at Myrtle Beach. Okay. So if you don't participate in the fundraiser, why should your child benefit? Right. No. If you either do the fundraiser or pay up $75. That's I mean, it goes that's towards good. the trip. I'm gonna say, that's still but good. you won't have to pay. I hate to say it, but watch how many kids end up not going. Oh man, I, look, we want to say that all the kids so. gonna go. I don't think so. All the, kids the parents might go. not go, but they gonna make sure they child go. Okay. I'm trying Baby to tell you. opportunity. I'm getting exactly. rid of the kids for the weekend. They're gonna like, all right, we gotta get. Oh no, you going? <laughs> I'm paying this seventy five. I don't know. <laughs> it is in Myrtle Beach. I don't get know. Get there on that corner. They might go. So for the uh, for the home, oh, the feeding the homeless baby. event, um, you're looking for toothpaste, toothbrushes, mouthwash. All travel size. All travel size. Because okay. I've been picking up donations from people, and it's the big tubes, mm -hmm. and it's the real big lotion. Because you're trying to put it in a bag, so right? Right. Okay. So, therefore, I'm going to have to go buy the small containers to put the lotion in. Yeah. So, I can get them. Cause it's a, so, we sponsoring, right? So, I got to so put my trunk We sponsoring, right? right? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Now, I see somebody's on here asking for information. So, I'm just going to give you my number to call me at 410-336-1719. Okay. Or you can call one of them and drop it off here, right here, Radio on Fire. Oh, hi, I'm charging the delivery sorry. fee. I, it's I'm no just, delivery I'm fee. Come on, I don't act like that. And I like Terrible. the fact, like, so this is this is basically like toiletry items, yeah, for the most part. And I like the fact that you're doing that because we always clothing and feeding the homeless. Feeding and clothing. Right. The one thing that I noticed when I went out with V, and the one thing that I noticed when I've gone out to trips. others, is that they're always like, can I get some toilet paper? Can I get some right. soap? We had it. And right. We had, had toilet had paper, but we ain't have enough. But there's, oh, a lot of, there's a lot of groups that go down there that don't. 
Well, I have some couponing like, friends. Yeah, <laughs> like exactly, <laughs> exactly. I'm a couponer yeah. now. <laughs> and I love the fact that like Sabrina does the socks oh, yeah. because yeah. a lot of them yeah. they did we were socks out there on what bit. I still say was the windiest day of it was. 2016. No, you bet not at this time. They um they didn't you know they they were in need of socks. They were like, yo, this bag socks. of food is good. Oh, I think we had. Cool. I only mm-hmm. think we had that many. I think it was a few. Yeah. So it's, it's right. So somebody asked me like, so what about juice? You want them? You want to give them juice? They want anything. They yeah, uh, they don't just want water. Right. Let's be clear. Right. I figure give the water because they're going to need to brush their teeth. They need the water to rinse. But I'm sure they want something with flavor. They don't always get that. So, sure. Yeah, when you I went down there one time, they asked for soda. They was like, can I have some soda? I was like, uh. I had one dude straight <laughs> ask me if I had some liquor in the car. <laughs> but that's, well, at least he was being honest. Yeah, he was like, like, I just need a drink, bro. You don't understand. I was like, yeah, I understand. So what keeps week? you going? You got three kids. You they two radio now. show. <laughs> you say what? They adults. They adults now. Well, <laughs> three are adults. Three adult children. Two about to work on two radio shows. You took the time to take a look at just, at the situation. Now you coming yes. back. Usually people don't come back. How do you keep going? What's up with that? I love her. I, she has to go it's, my, like, it's just, I, I really feel like it's it's the passion. Like, as much as I try to get away from, do, like, doing things, I'm like, I'm not the richest person in the world, but I'm always giving back. Support. So, Community. although, even when I was just doing the sports show, I was doing the blanket drive twice a year. So, I still was giving back. And recently, my child went to a different school. A child walking around, uniforms holy. I'm buying uniforms. Like I'm the richest person, and I'm not. I'm not. But when I see the need, but God does what for you. Well, see, when I do it, I don't even like. I have my daughter rolling her window down. I, oh my gosh, I bought that little girl a car so she can get off her mind. But anyway, she gives money, and I was I was shocked to see her roll her window down when I was riding with her, and give a, a homeless woman some money. I, I really you was. do it. Yeah, but your example. But they, she don't always go with me. She one of the, the bougie people. She don't. She never went with me. I have taken my youngest with me because I was going with Shelly and all of them down on say at Front Street. Mm-hmm. But we're not going there because they always get to eat. We're going over to but, but <laughs> Falseway and Center Street. But right. even if she's not out with you doing those she things, she know what she's doing. She's obviously Girl, there, there's something that's been instilled oh, with her that, <laughs> that makes her you know. So that's a good job. Oh, well, thank you. Let me pat myself on the back. There you go. Yeah. Pat yourself on the back, okay? I got, I got a uh, question for you. Um, I just recently went past, uh, what is that, uh, Mulberry or Howard Street? Yeah. And I realized that they fence. Where right. the, oh, MLK. Right. Yeah, right. well, MLK. Yeah. They fence. I was out there when they were putting the fence up. They put the fence up. Like, like, how do you feel about the city, like, closing these people off from where they actually are staying? Because it actually struck, a, ner- to, it struck I mean, a nerve to me. Because it, it's like, it, well, where it, are they going like to go? This. I'm like this. Because I don't know where they're going to go, but at some point, we can't go to every corner and see a homeless person. Mm-hmm. Like, on my way home from work, like, I work at Hopkins. On my way home from work, I can see a homeless person laying by the steam trying to get warm. Mm-hmm. So maybe they need another building. The 620 Fallsway used to be where traffic enforcement was. But they move them out the building to make that a shelter. So now they just need another building because it's because of the economy. Right. Se- to me, it seems like it's just growing rapidly, homeless people. So we just have to, they have to figure something out. The city does. Mm-hmm. They need another shelter. It's just not big enough. Maybe that's what we need to start working on collectively. Yeah. Great point. You know, we want to feed. Yeah, we can do it. <clears throat> Good idea. I mean, we have a bunch of abandoned, abandoned buildings out oh. there. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh my God. I don't even want to get into that conversation. <laughs> we wow. figure that out. Right down North Avenue. Like that. No, North <laughs> Avenue. Oh, my God. Since she brought it up, <laughs> the east side of North Avenue. Did you I'm sorry. You good. The, the east side of North Avenue from the cemetery on Greenmount to the cemetery at the top of Bel Air Road has to be the worst stretch of street. Not only the condition of the street, but the abandoned buildings. Mm-hmm. The, and now that they move the clinic over there, the methadone clinic or whatever that is at the top of the hill, it's uh, just. What is it? I saw it. It's just. It's called <laughs> Turning Point. Right. And like now, it's just. 
from the crack of dawn, mm-hmm. like literally, because mm-hmm. that place is open at like four in the morning. Mm-hmm. So literally, That's um, so that literally from the crack of dawn until the sun goes down, and you it's know, probably crowded. far after the sun goes down, it's just so much going on on the side of town, and a lot of them are homeless. Like literally, a lot of those people are, are homeless and have nowhere to go. I've seen um, leaving here, going home. I take Twenty Fifth Street to over by Lake Clifton and mm-hmm. go around the park. So. You come out on Bel Air Road where Sedonia Avenue starts, mm-hmm. and then you got Bel Air Road where the overpass, where the train is. Right. There's literally people sleep under that bridge every night. That That's I good to know. I couldn't. And it's like, <sighs> we, we just got way too many resources in this city to just wow. constantly wow. keep. And, I mean, it's good that we have the, you know, the, the homeless events that we have. We keep feeding them, and we keep, you know, basically putting a band-aid on the problem but right so how do we get them off the street yeah, the it bigger, has, but it has to come higher thing. than us right you think right. yeah it has to mm-hmm. it has to most definitely may 20th the thing that i could never understand was uh i've always had this question is like a lot of them claim they're veterans so it's like well they if they fought for this country why are they on the street they <laughs> okay, May. I'm mean, sorry. I, I try to change the subject. May twentieth. Yeah, how yeah, can we right. donate again? How can we contact you? Congratulations on everything. Um, and thank you. Um, I could go in for an hour. On that. Yeah, don't don't do that. <laughs> um, you can contact me via phone four ten three three six one seven one nine. And we're on social media. There you go. <laughs> it's only for business purposes. Like I had to tell somebody yesterday. She screened all business calls. Business purposes. Okay. Anyway. Um, I'm on social media, Women Love Sports 2. That's on Instagram. And let me spell that for you because some people be looking for L-O-V-E. That's not it. It's Women, L-U-V, Sports, and the number two on Instagram. Facebook is www.facebook.com slash Women Love Sports 2. Of course, spell L-U-V. Twitter, I'm trying, y'all. I don't really like Twitter. I don't either. But it's Twitter. underscore women love sports. Like I really can't get with Twitter. I, Twitter is the necessary <laughs> no. I, I added just... Phaedra and something, her and Portia, because they was trying to go in on <laughs> candy, and I swear they people came from me. I keep me. telling people the only, the only time <laughs> oh, you I said use. Something. You had something to say. I keep telling people the only time I use Twitter is when I update the website, and they got the little bird right there no. for you to click on for the post but, automatically. But yeah. Otherwise, I don't. Mm-mm. And and honestly, as we get ready to take a break, I will uh, assist with co- collecting if you need help. Just let us you know. know. Just, just let uh, us know. No, I already, I'm already told okay. this. <laughs> no, I'm outside of what we you already all, told. Diamond, you want all pain. You, know. you want all pain. I'm going to help pain. pack. Okay. I, I still probably give a donation, but I'm helping pack. Yeah. Okay. Because I found when I gave mine, everybody was like, hey, take the money. I can't be there, right. though. But I'll uh, come okay. So we'll, we'll be there good, now. Good. All right. Give it up for Miss Pebbles, y'all. Good. She good. finally came through. I know where this We're going to take oh, another break. Good. And then I see good. the brother from God Body. Contra. Has made it into the building. Good. So we're going to take a quick break. And then we'll yeah, get back with uh, the brothers yes, from God Body. This is Baltimore right, Flavor Radio. Right, radio right, on fire.com. Right, 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 she's still talking to me. 